Okay guys, I'm back in Genshin Impact. This time I'm just gonna play the cooking event. This one. Five days left, I thought I'd just do all in one video. <laughs> I don't know if it's already ended or not. I mean, if it's already the last part today. I heard there's four parts. But I don't know if there's any more after that. If there is... <laughs> Uh, we'll see the how if possible I'll just make this one video then. okay so what's going on in this cooking event thing Sorry for the long loadings. Eh? <laughs> Alright. Check the notice outside one shoot in. Wait. Is it down? Is it below? Okay, I <laughs> waste my time when you're walking. Is that a sigil? Huh, I missed one. Alright, let's see. Wang Shuen now hiring. Urgently seeking one temporary chef willing to pay Cup Mora salary negotiable. Book traveler, an urgent hiring notice and they're paying Cup Mora too! Oh, Paimon likes the sound of that. Why would Wang Shuen suddenly need a new chef? Hmm, you're right, it is strange. Do you think something happened to Yen Xiao? Cause that guy barely lets anyone ever set foot in his kitchen. Doesn't exactly seem like the type to hire help. The notice says interested parties should go upstairs and talk to the innkeeper Yan. Should we go and see what's up? You wanna check how much the job pays? You wanna check out on Yan Xiao? Uh, honestly this was... Oh! Uh, <laughs> I have to check up on Yan Xiao of course. Okay. Well, we are going back up. <laughs> I think the waypoint is above. All right, now there's people. Boss, uh, there's really no need for this. It's just a little bird. That's all. Oh, yeah, it won't get in the way scary. of my work. Perhaps not. But continuing to work will only hinder your recovery. You need to rest for a few days. I like how we are actually above and not below because we used the waypoint. <laughs> oh? Traveler and Paimon! What brings you to this neck of the woods? We saw, yeah, we saw your hiring notice downstairs and then we teleport all the way to, to the top. <laughs> and we decided to come check out, um, check up on you, Chow. Check out, check out. Uh, I knew we shouldn't have posted that notice. It's really nothing to worry about. I'm fine. I swear. Really? How kind of you. My thanks to you both. And thanks on Yan Xiao's behalf too. There's nothing to be embarrassed about, Yan Xiao. Just tell them what happened. Oh, alright. Well, basically, we had a lot of guests pouring in for the lantern ride. Things got busy, I started rushing, and I ended up accidentally burning my hand while plating a dish. Well, you know what they say. Play with fire long enough and you're bound to get burned. Even the best chefs slip up sometimes. A anyway, really? it's nothing, just a tiny burn. Oh. I can still... Yeah, it was just a tiny burn. Now, now, I don't want you pushing yourself. You'll only make it worse. And then you'll be looking at more than just a couple of days off to recover. But the lantern rites only just finished. And we're still getting tons of guests. Now's not a good time for me to rest. But, uh, plus, lots of the guests are visiting from other nations. 
We can't just bring in some random chef off the street. We have a reputation to uphold. I I refuse to let someone else ruin the good name we've made for ourselves here. <laughs> Listen to you. Anyone would think that you're the boss and not me. <laughs> but he's not wrong. Yan Chao was one of the favorites in the Masterful Chefs Tournament. No matter how you look at it, his are big boots to fill. I don't mean to boast, but any chef of my caliber probably has their own restaurant to look after. It's not going to be easy to find someone who's got the skills and has the time to help us out. Mm -hmm. Looks like we might have to increase the pay we're offering even further. Hmm. Do we know anyone that's a good chef and has the time to help out? Whoever could it be? Sometimes I'm still looking for a friend. Yeah, we're just saying that we are. Huh. Oh, of course, you! Oh, right. Yes. Now I think about it. I do recall hearing good things about your cooking ability. I suppose I'd added you to my mental list of people who can hold their own in a combat situation, but forgot you can cook. Um, why are you even keeping a mental list of people who can fight? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a story for another time. More importantly, I'm sure Yan Xiao would be comfortable leaving his kitchen in your hands, if anyone's. What do you think, Yan Xiao? Well, since it's you, I suppose that's better than anyone else. What do you think, Traveler? Should we do it? You say something about increasing the pay. I should warn you that cooking for customers is quite a different ball game from cooking for yourself, so I'll stick around the kitchen over the next few days to help smooth things over. Oh, so he's not leaving the kitchen after all? I believe there's some spare Just kitchen like ware here at the inn. <laughs> Boss, would you mind? Of course, of course. I'll take care of it. Uh, let's see. Whew. All done. Come, take a look. This was made with your measurements in mind. Ah, it's nothing. A little handicraft and elbow grease goes a long way. All right, Yan Xiao. I'll leave you to take it from here. You really went to all the trouble of building a new stove top? <laughs> what was well, you really hate when people touch your stuff, huh? Give me another one. No, it's nothing like that. As boss always says, hire who you trust and trust who you hire. I just thought the original setup might be a little, um, tall for you. Everyone looks short compared to you. I don't think that will be Ahem. Anyway, as I was saying, cooking for guests is different from cooking for yourself. Not only do you have to execute on taste, aroma, and appearance, but you also need to ensure speed, precision, and consistency. Having the right equipment is a big part of that. Ill-suited equipment doesn't just make the job more tiring, it also slows you down. And paying customers don't have unlimited patience. Sometimes cooking is all about being well prepared. That's how you ensure speed. Ah, precision all comes down to using your eyes. Where to slice into a particular cut of meat, how much oil to use, how to tell when a dish is done cooking. When you cook for yourself, you can always add salt if it's too bland or add water if it's too salty. You can tweak the taste as you go, but in a restaurant, there's not that much room for trial and error. Mm -hmm. Worst case scenario, Paimon can deal with any subpar dishes by... Making sure they get properly disposed of. <laughs> Let me just eat <laughs> the other food, <laughs> extra food. The final thing you have to focus on is consistency. That's you have to God. be able to handle the most. I hate how this book comes back to me again. The same level <laughs> yeah, of I just and skill consistency in my GSD video. This is particularly important when you have guests from all over, each with their own tastes and preferences. You have to cater to their own dietary needs while also giving them the opportunity to enjoy our local delicacies. Uh, this last point is making Paimon's head spin. <laughs> Don't worry. Matter of fact, someone as well-traveled as you may even have a better handle on it than me once you get started. And of course, I'll be around to help you over the next few days. I don't think we'll have any trouble making all our guests feel right at home. Alright. Is there a tutorial somewhere? Uh, talk to Smite or stop working. 
No time to lose, so let's get started. I imagine you probably have a good handle on the cooking side of things already. But what you need to pay attention to is remembering each table's order. Try not to get them mixed up. Remember each table's order. Uh oh. Oh, Paimon's memory is like a steel trap. This is gonna be a cinch. Okay. <laughs> do we have to do that too? Oh my gosh. Oh no. Table one was onions, but no chilies. Uh oh. Table two was chilies, but no onions. And table three was. Uh. Table three was chilies, but hold the chilies? Hold the chilies. All the guys have already finished it. So there's nobody. There's nobody in, in right now? <laughs> was Paimon just sleep floating? You've been talking nonsense since about halfway through the thing. Ugh. We didn't even get a break in the middle. Paimon's brain is turned to mush. Is it always this busy here? No, but this is peak season. You both did a mighty fine job for your first time serving guests at the inn. I didn't even see that, but okay. <laughs> Luckily, all our customers were familiar faces this time around, so we didn't get any strange requests. Otherwise, today would have been even more challenging. Uh, still no tutorials, so I'm no a bit worried. No strange request? Someone asked for almond tofu drizzled in soy sauce. Even Paimon has never tried that combination! <laughs> <laughs> it's a wide world out there. People have all kinds of different tastes. Mm -hmm. Being able to True. cater to all is the real essence of Liyue cuisine. Also, uh, the thing about requests is that they're usually very specific. So as long as you do what they asked, you're unlikely to have any issues. What's really tricky is when guests give you free reign to do anything you want. Uh, excuse me, are you still open by any chance? Is that Fremini? Or is that just another NPC? I, it sounds like Fremini. Huh? Paimon knows that voice! Mm, I think <gasps> it is. Let's go check it out! So, day one of this uh, event... <laughs> oh. What should we do? It doesn't look like anyone's here. <sighs> the three guys. we have gotten here a bit sooner. From Fontaine. Oh, Fontaine for two weeks, yeah. <laughs> From Minnie, Lenny, Oh boy. All three it's alright. If we start building a campfire now, we'll be eating before too long. I've never seen them anywhere out of Fontaine before. Right. Besides, if anyone's to blame, it's Lenny. So busy being a greedy culture vulture that he lost track of time. Lenny, Lynette, Fremenade, it is you! Paimon? So, is the Traveler here? Of course, there's no way we separate from Paimon. <laughs> traveler, Paimon. Paimon! What a nice surprise! Paimon nice was surprise. gonna say the same thing! Finding a helping hand at the end. I thought day one's gonna be all the UA people. <laughs> anyway, so that's how we ended up here. Well, what about you guys? Don't tell us. Uh, father sent you on another mission? No, quite the opposite, actually. Okay, we're vacation. in Liyue on vacation. <laughs> and while we're here, I thought a cultural tour might be in order. Uh, uh, father said we deserve some rest after everything Everyone's that happened recently. Vacation in Liwa. <laughs> Otherwise, it could jeopardize our next mission. It's not every day we get this kind of opportunity. Lenny thought it might be fun to spend some time in Liwa, especially since it's lantern yeah. light season. The cultural tour? We could hardly pass up the opportunity to watch a Liwa style magic show. Although, I think they call it conjuring here. Uh, in our time here, we've seen conjuring tricks incorporated into a Liyue opera show, and even a wushu dance. <laughs> it was amazing. So, we decided to stay here for a few more days to see what other forms of inspiration this land might have in store for us. We visited Granny Roshin in Chingsa village Granny not long Roshin. ago, and today we continued our cultural tour in the area around here. In the end though, we lost track of time. 
We haven't even eaten anything yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and speaking of eating, as you know, seafood is a big part of both Liyue and Fontaine cuisine, but it's cooked very differently here. We simply had to try some local seafood after coming all this way. That's another reason why we decided to extend our trip. Okay, local seafood. Oh, need any recommendations? What have you tried so far? That fish one with the misleading name. Fish? Sounds bland, but it's drowning in hot chilies. Oh no, I'm not familiar with all the names of the foods. Something fish, I remember mm -hmm. Monster Group, but this is Liwei. What's the Liwei one? <laughs> oh, you mean black bag? Okay, I don't, even, I don't even know. Right. That. Name doesn't give much away. Okay. <laughs> it looked and smelled so appetizing that Lynette took a huge mouthful. Blissfully unaware that she was about to set her mouth on fire. She could barely speak for the rest of the day after that. Uh, luckily, that wasn't a huge adjustment for her. <laughs> <laughs> that was different. What? Aren't you guys hungry too? Uh, yes, a little. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, I'm ready to eat. Traveler, I'm afraid we'll have to send you back to the kitchen now. Uh, would you like tell us? Hmm, good question. I doubt we'll be able to decipher the menu, so why don't you recommend something? You should be pretty familiar with our tastes. Uh, one more thing, please. If you have a heart, don't make it spicy. Okay, make it not spicy. Sure. Let's have let's have a request. Uh before we go, can we talk to them? Yes. I thought the black back perch stew was actually pretty tasty. And now that you know it's spicy, you won't be caught off guard, right? Why don't we give it another chance? Once was more than enough. Is that supposed to be after? <laughs> um, alright, I'll talk to them later, see if the dialogue changes. But alright, this is the first. Let me just check first. Yeah, there is four. So I think there's only four. It's okay. <laughs> Fontaine, huh? No wonder they can't handle too much spice. Still, if we make the food too bland, they might as well be eating back. Yeah, what's the recommendation then? Hmm. Uh, there's this crab and shrimp stir fry I know that could work. Milder. It's quite okay. heavily seasoned, but it's a lot milder than it looks. It has a light but really satisfying flavor. Ooh, that sounds perfect! What's it called? <laughs> well, this is where it gets interesting. They call it the Palace Jewels. The crab roe is supposed to look like pearls of gold, and the shrimp meat like chunks of jade. Here's the recipe. When you're ready, go ahead and give it a try. Do we actually get the recipe in game? Or is it just for this event? You must continuously prep, mix, and cook to make a dish that the guest wants. Wow. Okay. Uh huh. Click on the button to mark. Okay, just mark on. Just like cooking, but there's more than one button. Hold the button to make the indicator bar move over this time. I have to hold and then release the button. Okay. For the cooking, it's just uh, this one again. Uh. Alright. Plate and that. Oh. Okay. Decorate the dish. Okay, that's that. Is that even important? I, I. Can we talk again? Crab roll like pearls of gold, shrimp meat like chunks of jade. <laughs> Whoever wrote this recipe had quite the imagination. Alright, let's give this a try. The palace jewels. Uh, okay, we're reading it. My ingredients does it use my ingredients or okay 
Let's, let's go. What am I supposed to do first? Step one. Press at the right moment. Okay. Start. Alright, this is enough. One, two, three. Okay. <laughs> okay. Next one. Mixing after holding release. Okay. So I just have to hold and release. Okay. Oh, that's small. Okay. Okay. Why is it this music? <laughs> Press at the right move. Okay, this is just the usual group one. Alright. Oh, now it's a decorate one. Uh, vessel, accessory, uh, add on. Split, we have an accessory and we have an add on. Um, I mean, I don't think this even matters, right? Because it's already night time, I guess. <laughs> Late type. Yeah, sure. Finish. Okay. Let's see. It's time for the wait. This dish is called the Palace Jewels. Enjoy. They changed the <laughs> It doesn't matter what I pick. Look, it changed. It changed to the flower, it changed to this. <laughs> What's the point of that accessory thing then? Bruh. Are they eating? No, there's no animation for the eating. <laughs> what do you think? Um Give it a try. Ah uh, yes. We meant to say you two must be tired after a long day of work. Do you want to eat with us? Oh, now that you mention it, Paimon is a little hungry. Well, if you insist, then who are we to refuse? <laughs> Just to I guess enjoy the first bite, yeah. Oh, right! Of course, you're still our customers. Uh, why aren't you eating? I'm not so sure of eating this. The sauce looks a little overpowering. Looks... Looks only. Oh, uh, according to Leo custom, it's probably good table manners to let someone else go first. This is awkward. <laughs> <clears throat> looks delicious, traveler. I guess I'll dig in first. Here goes. Here we go. What is it? Do you need some water? No, it's delicious. The flavor is so pure. It's drenched in sauce, but somehow it just enhances the natural flavor of the seafood. Try it for yourselves. It's mild. Um, uh, all right. Not that spicy. Mm. Mm. What is that? Crab rope? Yeah, you have quite the palate, Lynette! No wonder it pairs so well with the shrimp meat. I've never seen it prepared this way before. According to the creator, chewy crab, complements succulent shrimp, making a spectacular seafood ensemble with a succulent flavor and luscious mouthfeel. 
The crab row glitters like pearls of gold, and the shrimp shines like chunks of jade. Hence its name, the Palace Jewels. So that's where the name comes from. Huh. I suppose it's quite fitting then. Huh. Was Paimon always this well spoken? <laughs> You just memorize what the recipe said. She just really good. Get, I don't know what that word is. Or someone else wrote. This dish must be right up your alley, Lynette. Uh huh? Yeah, Lynette? Uh, it's half gone already. Oh, what she ate. Happen? She ate most of it. <laughs> I heard that in Leeway. The biggest compliment we can pay to the chef is to leave a clean plate. It's delicious. Thank you ever so much. Lynette is the one who ate most of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright, let's talk to them again. Where is Lynette? Where? I think I'm finally getting the hang of chopsticks. Uh, yeah. Well, Lenny and Lynette picked it up in no time, but they're naturally dexterous. Unlike me, it's taken me a lot longer. But I'm slowly getting there. Oh, uh, speaking of chopsticks, in one of the shows we've seen here, someone performed a conjuring trick using a bowl and chopsticks. So if I want to be a good magician's assistant, I need to keep practicing. <laughs> okay. Lenny? Where did Lynette go? Lynette's not usually so forthcoming about what she likes. But this time, well... She's expressed it in more ways than one. I guess you've rubbed off on her too. <laughs> or maybe your cooking is simply too delicious to resist. The next time our paths cross in Fontaine, you'll have to fire up your cooking skills for my other siblings as well. <laughs> How does that sound, oh great master chef? Whatever you see. Okay. Oh yeah? <laughs> well then, I'll have to clear my schedule. Okay, so where is Lenny? Did Lenny go somewhere? Oh, she's there. Okay. <laughs> Calorie surplus detected. Digestion mode engaged. Yeah. Well, Lenny and I are usually careful about what we eat because we have to stay in performance shape. That. Plus, it's generally bad manners to overindulge at the dinner table. But once in a while, it's nice to treat yourself in the company of family. Besides, if I'd waited until my brothers were finished trying to outpolite each other, the food would have gone cold. <laughs> okay. So that was that was a success. So your friends like the dish, huh? Well done. Not bad at all for your first day on the job. There'll be more to come, so keep it up. Okay, part one. Ah, that's the recipe. Alright. Um, let's actually cook that. Where is it? The Palace Jewels. I don't see it. There's no new anything. Uh, I don't see the palace jewels. The, it's a Liwe dish. Mustn't be that high then. Is it really at the top or something? Test search. <laughs> ah, where is it? Wait, 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 wait. Am I? Where? I do not see. Unless it's like at the bottom. Find anything that starts with the. I 
am I dumb? We get to press it again. I used it, right? Oh, here it is. Okay, increases max HP. Ooh. There's no bonus. Okay, that's another HP dish. Three in like three quarters, okay. Well, we're gonna finish all of them, so wait till the next day. Are they still outside? They left. Alright, so. Okay, what time? 6 o'clock. Press the wrong button. <laughs> I'm press W and press Q. Okay. Day two. Morning. The boss tells me that both new and returning customers have nothing but good things to say about you. I have to admit, I was a little worried about throwing you right into the deep end. But it looks like you've got what it takes to handle the day-to-day -day here. So it should be plain sailing. Oh, Farazan! Just as long as we don't oh, run shit. into any extremely some picky customers this with unreasonably now. specific requests. Oh, have you had something like that before? Oh, Farazan's gonna have a lot of requests. The worst are those old scholars oh, no. who've barely cooked a day in their life, uh -oh. but think reading a stack of books on the topic makes them the expert. Um, you're speaking of Farazan right here. <laughs> They criticize you for no reason, claiming your cooking method isn't faithful to the original, or that the flavor profile isn't authentic because you used an ingredient that wasn't in their beloved centuries-old centuries old version of the recipe. Um, this is Wang Shuen. Hmm. It does have the look and feel of a time-honored establishment. Oh boy, we have one person right here. <laughs> Faruza. Oh, innkeeper. We'll have each of your signature dishes, please, as fast as you can serve them. The most expensive oh, ones. Oh, shit. Farzan! Madam Farzan. Uh, Madam Farzan! <laughs> oh, my. Traveler, Paimon, whatever are you doing here? We could ask you the same thing. Where'd you suddenly get the funds to go sightseeing and to order the most expensive things on the menu? <laughs> I'm not here to sightsee. Exemplary scholars like myself are highly sought after by cruise operators in need of an onboard consultant. Dory, Leila as well. Uh, uh, Madam Farzan, please. Oh, shit. Oh, slow down. Oh, none of us slept last night. Have you seen them interact How come with Madam Farzan still has so much energy? Oh. If she's really over a hundred years old, I don't understand how she keeps going. <sighs> it's all my fault. She's been like this ever since I told her I'd be paying the expenses. Oh, okay. Layla! And Dory? Yeah. Huh. Never would have bet on this combination. Temporary chef, huh? Wow, no rest for the wicked. That's Oz's line. Well, if the chef here is trusting you to run his whole kitchen, then I've got no doubt we're in for some authentic Leo S specialties. So, why are you all in Leo again? Something about being an onboard consultant? I got my hands on a new boat from Fontaine a while ago, equipped with cutting edge navigation technology. If we manage to spread the word, it could have huge business potential. Okay. Right now, we're doing some test runs. We sailed from Port Ormos to Rito, then from Rito to Liyue Harbor. Next, we're planning to go to Dormant Port. Wow, okay. We're going all around the world then. Oh, Madame Farzan and me were hired to fine-tune the compass and other equipment. 
We sailed around the Sea of Clouds all of last night to put the system through some stress testing. <laughs> uh, overtime for which they'll both be fairly compensated. They're both here willingly. The contract is crystal clear on that. You really cover all your bases, don't you? Five high on gas. Paying the expenses is part of the compensation, isn't it? No wonder Madame Farazan is going for all the most expensive dishes. <laughs> It's not every day someone tells you to order whatever you like. Now, first up, we'll have the... Have the? <clears throat> Farzan, uh, Madam Farzan, that is. While I am more than happy to treat you both to the most expensive dishes on the menu, we must remember that most expensive does not always mean best. Yeah, you want the best one, right? I've heard Not that the, the most expensive, expensive dishes in the UA are usually either seafood based or take an exceptionally long time to prepare. Now, I don't know about you two, but after so many days at sea, I don't think I can so much as look at another piece of seafood again for at least the foreseeable future. Okay, Dory doesn't want seafood. Huh. That's actually a good point. Not to mention that poor Layla here looks like she's about to faint from hunger. Huh? Oh, that's not because that's of not hunger. hunger. That's Surely tiredness. the wise and virtuous Madame Farazan could not bear to watch her poor students sit here and waste away. Ah, right. I forgot. Was it Layla that became a, a student? Was it? I remember that was in the story that was. A Farazan story. Did oh, well, of course I care about my students' well being, but. I forgot. <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm while. being tricked? <laughs> we can't trust Dory every time. So, let's not order anything that'll take too long to prepare. Aside from that and seafood, we'll take whatever other expensive dishes you have. Other Over expensive to you, dishes. <laughs> okay, so. Anything but seafood then for Dory. Yes. No seafood and nothing that takes too long to cook. The rest is up to you. <laughs> up to us. Hmm. I had my eye on a duchess temptation. Bamboo oh. shoot soup and golden shrimp balls. I mean, I suppose they'll have to wait for the next time. <laughs> but that could be years from now. Oh, Madame Farzan looks so deflated all of a sudden. Um, please still try to choose dishes on the expensive side, okay? Still expensive ones, <laughs> okay. Um, is this interesting? Can she sit down? <laughs> Alright. Good thing uh, the chef is here. Let's see what he suggests. So, expensive, but no seafood. And nothing that takes too long to cook. We have to do it quick. That rules out pretty much our entire menu. <laughs> do these people get a kick out of being impossible to please? Ugh, that Dory! Is she doing this on purpose? I bet more as she is. <laughs> this isn't Leoli Pavilion or Xinyua Kiosk. This is Wangshu Inn. We don't stock up on rare and exotic ingredients. We only get them in if someone puts in a special reservation. Well... If we're stuck with regular ingredients and we're on a time limit, there's only one way to bump up the price. And that's by cooking a dish that uses the chef's expertise and creativity to the fullest. As okay. it happens, I know a recipe for something called trembling strings and rushing weeds. We're gonna get this recipe It can be whipped up quickly with what we already have in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. One plate usually goes for 30,000 mora. That's thirty dollars, is it? What exactly makes it so special? Quick doesn't have to mean quick and easy. Quick and to perfect this dish, perfect. you need expert knife work and very precise control over the heat. You have to finely slice several different types of meat into fine threads, knead them together into strips, then gently stir fry them in the pan. What you end up with is a whole variety of flavors that come through layer by layer. This dish is unique in offering a harmonious blend of multiple kinds of meat, all cooked to Sounds perfection, like a fresh star dish, but while I don't still think so. bursting That's with their own distinct dish. flavors. <laughs> Do it right, and you've got a culinary masterpiece in your hands. But if you watch it, it's just a bunch of meat thrown on a plate. Oh, Pyman gets it now! So this dish 
gets its value not from the ingredients, but the chef's expertise. Now, don't worry. I can take care of the kneading and other prep work for you. You just focus on bringing it all together. Believe in yourself. You can do this. And if you mess it up, Karma will still be happy to eat it. <laughs> all right. This good stuff. Legend has it that a master chef once made this dish from five different kinds of meat. It speaks to my lack of skill that I can only handle three. Okay. Let's do it. Guess I'm waiting. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Press at the right moment, okay. One, two. Oh boy. One, two, three, four, five. One, oh, that's fast. Two, three, okay. <laughs> Next. Ah, hold and release again, okay. Are you going backwards? And this way. Ah! Okay, I mean one mistake there. <laughs> Press at the right moment, okay. You can't do anything there. What? <laughs> Why is there a red? Okay. Ah. So let's just. Last time it was this and this. That's impossible. Can you put two together? No, you can't. Yeah, last time it was this too, which we couldn't get it. <laughs> Alright, now it's Sumeru people, so... I guess this is fine. Um... You know what, I'll just, I'll just follow the uh, the order and see what, what, what will they give. Alright. Doesn't really matter, right? The accessories doesn't matter at all. <laughs> okay, let's see what this is. Food's ready. Please enjoy. The flower again and this. Okay. <laughs> oh no, there's four different things here. Okay. Ooh, smells delightful. Let's see. Oh, we meant to ask. Have you two eaten breakfast yet? If not, why don't you join us at the table? Uh. Did Dory just offer us a free meal? When did she become so generous? <laughs> Let's not forget that the biggest business deals are always settled over a meal. Come on, come on, come on, sit down and join us. Everyone, dig in. This dish looks simple enough. And I did my research, so surely it can't cost all that much. <laughs> Worst case scenario, maybe looks 10, simple. Mora? No, it's 30,000. Sorry, Dory. This dish had better be worth working overtime all night for. Well, Traveler, this is the moment of truth. Oh, so tired. So sleepy. Oh, this keeps I just want to eat bit. up and get to bed. Everyone begins to eat. Okay, is and... Is this... foul? Oh, wait. No, the texture is more like shroom bore. There's a different flavor in every bite. And the discerning palate might detect a hint of something smoked, too. Quite marvelous. How is this made? From the ham. Ham? But I don't see any ham anywhere. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha! So you've noticed. Yep, every single strip is kneaded from several different kinds of meat. Paimon and Yen Chow put in a lot of effort to make it just right. Uh, so I am not an expert or anything, but don't different meats have different cooking times? 
Uh, uh, how is everything in this dish cooked to perfection? Well, you see... Treat secret. Um, that's a treat <laughs> secret. Wow. So this dish really is one of a kind. That makes the whole trip worth it. By the way, does this special dish have a name? Ah, I forgot, I don't forgot to mention that part. Oh, the yeah. dish is called Trembling Strings and Rushing Reeds. Alluding to the way that the different threads of meat are woven together. And also, the complex layers of flavor, yes? Akin to the harmonies of a musical ensemble, the name, if I'm not mistaken, is a Leo idiom that evokes a vigorous orchestral performance featuring both stringed and wind instruments playing together. Hmm. Mm. Quite an apt name for this dish. Uh, how did you know all that? Every student has to master at least 20 languages before they graduate. Is that a language? Wait, is that not a requirement anymore? Is that not a... I remember I'll hate them say this. Uh, huh? Oh, that used to be a thing? I mean, I'll hate them to say the same thing. Oh, I might almost forgot that you're also from Harabita. So, <laughs> um... Anyway, how much does 30, this dish cost? 30,000. Oh, don't worry, not too much. That'll be, uh, 30,000 more, please and thank you. <laughs> I haven't seen that grin from Paimon. <laughs> 30,000? <000? sighs> about that, Paimon, traveler, I merely invited you to join us at the table, did I not? I don't believe I committed to paying for you. So, perhaps we could split the bill accordingly? Oh, Paimon knew it was too good to be true. 30,000 more surely isn't an outrageous amount for the most magnanimous Lord Sangama Bay. I'll talk to the boss, we should be able to do a 20% discount. Hmm. Yeah! As a famous merchant, you've got a reputation to uphold. <laughs> But every single mora matters, you know? <sighs> all right, all right. I'll just consider that the cost of learning about this dish. <laughs> Once I'm back in Sumeru, I'll be sure to find someone to help me recreate the dish. And then, and then, I'll make it all back. I doubt that. <laughs> Alright, 30,000 taken from Dori. Somehow. I feel so much better now that I've gotten some food in me. Delicious food really does wonders for one's spirit. Uh, uh, my advisor said that young people shouldn't stay cooped up in the academia all the time. Uh, they told me that I should take the chance to get out and see the stars in other skies. Oh. Uh, maybe I can think of it as my first internship experience? Oh, but it sure is exhausting. <laughs> oh. University life be like. Uh, where's Dory? Oh. Now, how should I justify a high price tag for a dish without any fancy ingredients? Huh. Maybe start by giving it a fancy sounding name? You just want you to try and save money, didn't you? Uh, <laughs> uh, I should have known you'd see through me. Everyone was exhausted and seasick when I made the offer last night, so I figured they probably wouldn't be able to eat all that much today. Well, you saw how that turned out. I tried placing some limitations on the order to keep costs under control, but you still found a way around my schemes. <laughs> That's what I get for not thoroughly researching the market beforehand. Hey, you're not even paying those too much of a salary. Just treat them fairly next time and don't be so stingy. Horizons right here. Even though I didn't get to try Adeptus Temptation or Bamboo Shoot Soup, 
This trembling strings and rushing reeds was still quite impressive. Thank you for making it. Well, about that. Even though newfangled contraptions are hardly my cup of tea, Dora's offer was quite enticing. She said that every time we stopped at a new harbor, I'd be free to go and pick out some ancient books at the market and bring them back to Sumeru. <laughs> I couldn't resist an offer like that. So I offered to join for the lowest possible pay to undercut all my Kasharawar competitors. Wow. Alright. So I guess... That's the end of the second day. We're off to a good start this morning. Keep up the good work. I'm counting on or you. Or is it? Okay. Yep, that's the end of the second day. 45 primo gems, alright. Let's cook that dish. Trembling strings. Okay, start with trembling. It has to be a 4 star, 5 star. Cannot be 5 or 4. No, it's not. It's 3. I'm always having trouble finding. Okay, sort this way. T T T T. This one increases crit rate. Oh, it's a bit like Adeptus Temptation. All right. Because Adeptus Temptation also crit rate. But also attack. Alright then. Commission's done. Let's go to. Is there more to retain here? Okay, yeah, there's more here. So now, part 3. Oh, did you wait for the <laughs> I thought why was there no voice? Right. Wait for the next day. to fire up the stove for another day of customers. Who is it this Thanks time? Again. My guess it's people from either Mondstadt or Inazuma. Great work! Well, you're looking more like a head chef every day. If it's Inazuma, I'm guessing maybe... Whatever crazy characters come walking through that door, I know you'll be able to handle them. Maybe Ito? <laughs> maybe Ito next? Wait! It's gonna be jinxed. Hey, that's not true. Anyway, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> oh shit, it is Ito! I guessed it correctly. <laughs> I just took a guess if it's Inazuma or Monstad. Dude, what up, bro? Oh shit, it is them again. You were in Liyue too. Ah, it's always nice to run into a broad Inazuma fellow. It's always Ito but, when wait, it's Inazuma. Right? Shit, okay, Ito and Shinobu. Only them? Almost. I think you meant fellow Inazuman abroad, boss. Are you the only two here? Ah, yeah, 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 that's the one. Yeah, we gotta look out for each other when we're this far from home. Don't we, Ayato? Oh, shit. We have Ayato here. <laughs> oh, look, Checker! What are you doing here? Oh, huh? look at Oh, hey, Flying Lavender Melon! Uh, uh, the sky cleaving white iron variety. <laughs> And my compadre too! All my buddies in one place! God, today's my lucky day! Oh. Didn't you say you were gonna knuckle down and earn some more when you got home? How come you're back in Lele so soon? Yeah, wasn't it the Beetle event last time? And got home and then come back here again. 
Ah, that can wait. As soon as I announce that Arataki Ito is available for hire, they'll be yeah, throwing more at me. Right now, I got a more urgent situation I... to attend to. I'm in the mood for some good spicy food. Oh, and uh, while we're here, we were gonna also see if Grandmaster Hanakado's okay and whatnot. Again, that, that boy Hanakado. Uh, don't ask. Okay. Not too long ago. I heard a rumor that someone was hosting an Onikabuto fighting contest yes, in Liwa. That was the previous Naturally, event. Naturally, I came here as soon as I could. It is too late. But, alas, it was too late. What? You missed it? Oh man, what a bummer! Quite the bummer, indeed. <laughs> Though all is not lost. Since you're here, you'll be able to tell me all about it. <laughs> sure thing, my man. But, uh, let's catch up over some food, huh? Where's the chef anyway? Hey, hey, get the chef out here! I got compadres to feed! I'm the chef. Yeah, sure, me too. Wait, what? <laughs> wow, Woodchucker set up that one for us really nicely. Gotta give him some credit for that. The main chef is another uh, one. <laughs> good one, compadre. You almost got me there. Alright, well, get the chef out here! Oh, we actually call him for him. So, uh, may I take your order? <laughs> If you're entertaining guests, I can recommend the Palace Jewels, a Trembling Strings and Rushing Reeds, or... As the previous two dishes. Boss, don't forget the budget. Oh, okay, they have a budget. So we don't... Hey, they cannot overspend them. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, um, uh, got anything a little more, uh, down to earth? Cheaper. <laughs> okay. Down to earth. Oh, well, well, we do a mean humbly enough. Real hearty dish with a ton of flavor, and we don't skimp on the portion size either. That'd be the best value for your morna. Humbly enough, huh? Oh, sounds like my kind of grub. The dish we'll is called that. humbly enough. No need for anything fancy. We're all friends here. Okay. Excellent choice, Ito. I'm no fan of culinary ostentation either. <laughs> Sometimes a bro just knows. Sometimes a hmm? bro. A bro just knows. Yes, a bro just knows. <laughs> bros that don't suppose. Thing, right? Cause bros just knows. Bro, bros don't suppose. Cause bros just well. Is this for real? Oh, whatever. Paimon's leaving you guys to it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Humbly enough. Interesting. Um, Ito's not sitting down. Shinobu's somewhere else. Seriously, if I blinked, I would have missed a crimson staff. Just launched itself a bloom pruner and sent it flying! Ah, oh, the beetles. Alright. I'd expect no less of the bona fide beetle battle king himself. It sounds like a truly epoch defining duel. And she knows what's right there. <sighs> the air was getting stifling, so I made some excuses and slipped away. <laughs> anyway, thanks for taking the hint earlier. I'll fill you in later. Okay. Let's do the dish. Gotta say, your friend's quite a character. Still, humbly enough isn't that hard to make. So I don't think we'll have any problems with this order. Actually, why is it called humbly enough anyway? A hearty meat dish is a good start, but in Paimon's experience, one humble dish is never enough. Uh, I said it was hearty, but I never said it contained meat. Don't be fooled by the appearance. It's actually just tofu, made to look and taste like meat. Tofu made to look and taste like meat. Wait! Tofu's made of beans, isn't it? Oh, Bullchucker can't eat that! Guess we should get them to pick something oh, else yeah. instead. Yeah, you cannot eat. What's the issue? I think I caught the word tofu. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing? The, the kitchen is staff members only. <sighs> Never mind. I'll let it slide. Oh, so we're now, changing the order. Could you possibly ask your boss to order something else instead? <laughs> no one gets my bro Ayato like I do. I hereby declare that humbly enough will be an everlasting symbol oh, of our friendship. Mind. For my name ain't Arataki Ito. So I guess we're doing humbly enough without the tofu? That, that, does, that doesn't make sense though. Hey, where's our food at? Hurry up! I'm almost done recounting the epic adventures of Crimson Staff! Uh, as you can see, changing the order may be a little difficult. Oh, 
Oh, brother, his old ego is riding on this, huh? Even if we break the news to him, he'd probably rather eat the tofu than eat his words. How about we throw some free appetizers in? We're locked in now, we gotta cook the dish. Uh... Sounds good. I'll make sure he fills up on those. We'll just have to play the rest by ear. <laughs> Will this be okay? Just checking again. Where is Cookie Shinobu now? <laughs> ah, never mind. Let's just cook. Let him cook. That's tofu though, so what are we gonna do? <laughs> maybe, maybe you can let Ayato and you know who eat the tofu part let's see <laughs> all right let's begin one two three four one two one two three four five six seven eight nice Mixing. That's a small one. Okay. Oof. The third one is always small. <laughs> Is it all the third one? Yeah. Okay. Finish. <laughs> We're not gonna change anything. Humbly enough. Let's see. Ah, food's here. But there's tofu, so. Oh, so this is humbly enough. You guys don't mess around. Woo, love me that portion size. Come on, compadre, grab a seat. We're all friends here, so don't hold back. I'm just gonna dig right in. Um, before that. <clears throat> Boss, we should respect the local customs. Here in Liyue, it's polite to let the guests eat first. Aren't you all the guests? Polite? Uh, Shinobu... I thought old timey traditions weren't your style. Now that I finished the kitchen, I'm a guest too. Maybe that one. Ah, okay, I see you. We eat the tofu part. Huh? Are you kidding me, compadre? Oh, wait, I get it. The food smells so dang good, now everyone's dying to go first. Well, guess I only got my own good taste to blame. Go on, dive in. I'll wait till last. So, I think we are gonna eat Without it, <laughs> without you to even trying it, <laughs> I think is it. <sighs> you, Paimon, Ayato, and Shinobu help yourselves, li leaving <laughs> little meat behind. I see. Finally, it's my turn. I spy a big chunk of deliciousness with my name on it. Still a lot more, so that's okay. Wait, young. Hmm? Huh? What is it now? You got this fine one, you know the drill. Huh? Okay, here goes. Anyway, so, uh... <laughs> I forgot to tell you the really cool origin story of this dish! Origin story? Dude, who cares where it came from? We all know where it's going. <laughs> Am I right? Down the gullet! Uh, well, um... Skipping the origin story is like... Like, going traveling without a tour guide! Fine, you get way more out of the experience after you hear it. Paimon makes an astute observation. Much as every tea must be appreciated on its own terms, is it not a waste of the chef's goodwill to sample a dish without hearing its tale? My compadre's goodwill, huh? Yeah, that going to waste. All right then, give me the full story. I'm all ears. That's nice to see it. That's more like it. Let's start with the ingredients. No, that's tofu. <laughs> you say no. tofu. Let's start. 
with the story of Wang Xuan, which starts with the history of Dihua. It is imagining it. Now's our chance, traveler. Are we are we actually gonna finish a couple times with this? <laughs> Tale of Dihua Marsh hits hard. People in the past had it pretty rough. Makes you appreciate what you got. Humbly enough, yeah, that's a good way to think about life. Darn, there's no sad way to tofu from here. How did we get so off topic? Yeah, there's no link to tofu. Well, good news is there's only a little bit left. But I don't want to mention the tofu part, right? Or something? We already be. <laughs> Everyone's already uh, full. <laughs> Oh, compadre! Shinobu! Have you been eating this whole time? Save me some dreads, why don't ya? That's it, I'm done waiting. It's my turn to eat. I think it should be fine. No. Wait, boss, that's made of... Uh-oh. One moment, Ito. I have a small request, if you would be so kind as to consider it. I left home in a hurry and was unable to bring any of my family with me. They've all heard so much about you and are huge admirers of the Arataki gang. So they will be devastated to learn that they missed out on this opportunity. However, if you were willing to let me bring the remaining portion of Humbly Enough back to them, I'm sure it will help to lift their spirits. Do we have anything else uh, to offer for Ito? <laughs> Ito's not gonna eat anything then. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Boss, you gotta do right by your friends. They're pretty big on that in Liyue. Besides, you did eat quite a lot of the grilled fish while we were waiting for the main course. Oh, so Ito did eat something uh, before the food. Including mine and Ayato's. Huh? Oh, those were for you guys? Ah, oh, dang it! I got too carried away telling that story, didn't I? In that case, pass my regards to your fan, bro. Oh, Chef Tap out. Bay, can we get the rest of this to go? Tap out the food. Okay. So, touch the bullet there. Can't crush more. Instant kill. I never knew there were so many elite beetle fighters in Liyue. Yeah, I don't think that was the reason. It doesn't <laughs> look can so... Can you imagine? That would be tardiness of the most unfashionable variety. No, in truth, this trip is part business, part leisure. Every visitor has their own agenda. For some, the festivities are all the more reason to visit. For others, all the more reason to avoid the crowds. In any case, one way or another, I seem to have ended up in the right place at the right time. Now, as for the leftover tofu... Yes... I'm sure Tomo will dispose of it as he sees fit. <laughs> I have to get back to the docks as soon as this meal is done. So why are you talking to you again? Well, uh, thing is... I can explain. Boss recently found work as a sailor, which allowed him to hitch a ride here. Boss worked as a sailor? Ito's working as a sailor? After the ship docked, he had some free time to do as he pleases. Okay. He's been using that time to hang out with Grandmaster Hanakado. Just because he's here already! No other reason! Makes sense. Okay. That's the end of the third one. Looks like that's all sorted. Alright. Take some time to collect yourself. The next big group is coming in. Humbly enough. <laughs> Let's take a look at this. Restores max HP. Also, rest oh, restores. Restores HP. Okay, it's just a healer, healing dish. Humbly enough. Where is it? Ah, here it is.
There's no way that was just six minutes past. I think when the story ended, it ends at six zero zero or something. <laughs> All right, final day. So Monstat, I guess the last one. How time flies. My burns are almost healed now, so I should be ready to take back the kitchen tomorrow. You've really gone above and beyond these past few days. Last day today. Here's hoping we get through it without incident. Uh, why does Paimon feel like you just jinxed us again? <laughs> oh boy, so who is it this time? Monstat? People. <sighs> we made it all the way to the evening. It ended up being a pretty Let smooth day after all. Maybe it's because we've gotten so experienced at running this whole thing. Klee? Fischl? Kaya? Uh, maybe... We've come a long way since our first day on the job, haven't we? Hmm. Back then, we were struggling to remember who ordered what. <laughs> but everything's a piece of cake now. The day isn't over yet. Yeah, but who would come by this late in the evening? Uh, actually, now that I'm thinking about Lenny and his siblings Yula came around Mika. about this time the first day, oh, didn't they? Oh, shit. Well, well, they're, they're, they're right behind us. Traveler? Paimon? Fancy seeing you two here. Amber. Yeah, and you and Mika too. It's been a while since you've seen Amber. Are you here for dinner? Why so late in the day? We just finished an escort mission for a merchant caravan. The original plan was to make do with some rations for this evening and continue our trek north towards Stonegate. But Captain Eula brought up the fact that none of us have eaten Lido at Cuisine for quite some time. We thought we might as well swing by the inn and see if we can still order something. Ooh, so this is Eula's treat, huh? <clears throat> We've been eating the same rations for the entire trip, so I simply thought it was high time we had ourselves a proper meal. Do you have a problem with that? Well, welcome to our shooting. Good question. What should we get? Hmm? Wait a sec. Why are you taking our order? The traveler's been filling in for the chef here. You came at just the right time. You'll be the last customers to enjoy her cooking before the original chef takes back the rings. Her? I heard the her. His. <laughs> that was a mistake. Wow, really? Good thing Eula suggested we come here. I wouldn't want to miss this. So, what shall we get? Hmm, I'm not as familiar with Liyue cuisine as I used to be. Mika, Eula, what are you in the mood for? Anything goes. Anything. I'm just looking forward to trying the honorary night's cooking for oh, myself. Boy, anything... I'm sure it'll be a great learning opportunity for no me. No specifics? Hmm, something small, I suppose. We have to hit the road again after we eat. Small. Beyond that, anything goes. Oh no. Wasn't it your idea to come here though? Yeesh, this is like getting blood from a stone. Alright, guess it's up to you, Amber. You name it, we'll cook it. Anything specific? Huh? Then I guess... Oh my gosh. No, I don't really mind either. Anything goes. <laughs> this is... Ah! Really weak. <laughs> Anything. You last said something small, but everyone said anything goes. Let me just stop this. I'm sorry. I really can't think of anything off the top of my head. I mean, I could pick from the menu at random, but I'd feel more comfortable leaving the chef to choose. Oh, one thing. I know I said I don't mind what we have, but no alcohol, please. Neither of them can drink. It's a real pity. Uh, I've still got some sparkling water here. Sparkling water. Uh, I used to drink a lot of sparkling water. But now I don't like it really. <laughs> Alright, what are we cooking this time? So fake. Anything goes, huh? Oh dear. <laughs> this is a chef's worst nightmare. With no idea of your customer's palates, you're left to make a wild guess. Still. Now that you've worked in the kitchen for so many days, I have faith that you'll be able to figure it out. Oh no, we... Go on. Show them what you've got. What do they like? What could they be craving? Cook anything goes. Is this an, a recipe? Any Anything? 
Do we pick or something? I'm curious of this. Okay, the dish is called Anything Goes. <laughs> the dish is literally called Anything Goes. Here we go. What? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. This is literally the same animation. Mixing. Oh, that's small. That is so small. Okay, I didn't miss. Last one. Two. Oh, there's a one missed then. Okay, there we go. Yeah, <laughs> we're not even gonna bother. And it looks like what kind of what what rice is that? Yeah, I forgot what's it called. Mmm, this is delicious. Perfectly seasoned. Even the rice is bursting with flavor. Nothing like a piping hot meal served straight from the stove. I've missed this. Yeah, accessories didn't bother even. <laughs> <laughs> You've put the finest Pavonian field rations to shame, and that's no mean feat. So, tell us, traveler, what's this one called? Anything goes. <laughs> it's cooked! Um, I'm guessing we can't just call it anything goes, right? Are we gonna call it that? Basic ingredients? Simply cooked? Really? I could have sworn that you put something fancy in here, or gave it some kind of chef's magic touch. It isn't the finest dish in the world, but it's the one you need right now. <laughs> Not the finest dish in the world, but the one they need right now. Okay, you lost time on. What do you mean? Oh, we're, we're gonna say all this, okay. So you mean... We only think this is delicious because we're so hungry? Mmm, there's got to be more to it than that. Perhaps the fact that the aroma of freshly cooked hot food is a welcome change from cold pre-prepared rations. Oh, kind of like the feeling of waking up to the smell of freshly baked bread in the morning? Huh, that makes sense. Yeah, it's almost like we're back at Good Hunter again. Uh, but Good Hunter's in my stack. Why make a point of trying Lyric Cuisine if you can't even taste the difference? Oh, I'm not talking about the taste. I just meant the feeling of comfort, you know? It's like the feeling of coming home. Mm. Comfort? Coming home? Feel right. Well, Yan Xiao did say we want to make our guests feel right at home. So in other words, the secret ingredient right, right, the is no voice for this, But it's understandable, uh, it's not a main story thing. Despite how terribly cliched that sounds, I'll admit that it holds true for this meal. <laughs> well played. Mark my words, I'll remember this recipe. Okay, but you can't really have a recipe without a name though, right? Have we come up with a name for this dish yet? I haven't really thought that far. I guess we're calling it that then. Anything goes. Hmm. <laughs> no. How about right at home? <laughs> right at home? Okay. Right at home. That's better than anything goes, I guess. <laughs> yeah, anything goes doesn't make sense. The rations we brought were adapted for my signature moon pies. To come up with something even tastier. 
I gotta hand it to you. You did a great job. Still, please do drop by and try a few Stormcrest pies next time you're in town. I insist. Okay. Amber. Hmm. Mm, Amber? Uh, sorry. I don't know it just now. Didn't see you coming. Yeah, that food you cooked for us just now? It reminded me of the meals my grandfather used to make for me. I thought I'd forgotten how they tasted, but it all came rushing back. He used to make Liyue dishes all the time. I do my Outrider training with him until the evening, then wait patiently at the dinner table. I'd sit there with the smell of delicious food wafting in from the kitchen, waiting for him to finally emerge with the goods. Sometimes we'd have Eula around for dinner. And even though she'd always find something to complain about, I could tell she really enjoyed the food. <laughs> Your words, not mine. Don't ask her about it. She'll only give you another earful. And... Mika. Back when I was on the expedition with the Grand Master, I was often put in charge of cooking. Under the circumstances, I could only cook some pretty crude meals. But everyone still enjoyed them. Oh, maybe passion was the secret ingredient then too. <laughs> oh, what is it now? I think it's over. The event's over. There you are. Thank you for all of your hard work over the past few days. It's the best of being paid. <laughs> Straight down to brass tacks, are we? Here, take it. I've thrown in a little extra as well. Call it a bonus. Hard work is rewarded here. All right. Yay! It's like all the tiredness and stress have suddenly melted away. How much we got? I'm just lucky you only worked on this job for a few days. At the rate you were progressing, a few more weeks and I think I might be made redundant. Oh, the part in time. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime. Bring some friends with you next time and I'll show you all what Smiley Yenshao can do when working with both hands intact. Great! Safe side, cook carefully in the meantime. You may have just tasted it again. <laughs> okay, is that it? Delicious, humbly enough. Recipe right at home. Oh no, the humbly enough was the third dish. So, right at home. Let me just cook that quickly. Increases defense. I thought the last this is going to be the big one, but this is like the simple one. <laughs> so I assume this is a low dish, low level dish, no not even one. Maybe a two star, three star, right at home. It's like rice. I guess it's a three star dish. No? Ah, here it is. It's a three star dish. Okay. A staple dish. <laughs> okay. So that's that's the event, I guess. That's the end, right? Yeah, I also I was like, they show more than one. They show all three characters. Okay. Wait, is it different every time? Yeah, it's different every time. Okay. I want to see Faruzan. Let's see again. Still the same. Okay. <laughs> Is it the same now? I think it's the same now. Was it all the same? <laughs> I thought it were different. Hmm. 
Now it looks the same. Okay, whatever. Alright, we're done with this cooking event. I don't think he has any more dialogue. Okay. Right, that's the cooking event for <laughs> this uh, 4.4 mini event. That's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.